Aisha T. Yusuf, a registered dietitian in Nigeria, specialist in carrying out dietary management, planning menu for people of different age groups. I'm married with eight blessed children, married to ex-professional footballer, Anaji Ayam Saidi, MFR. Uh, I, I want to introduce, uh, I want to introduce issues that have to do with dieting, nutrition, and then related to diseases. Nutrition, uh, being a nutritionist has to do with you knowing everything about food, knowing the component of food, from harvesting to digest, uh, eating of the food, digestion, processing, proceed, uh, producing food, uh, assimilating, absorption, and then know the relationship of the nutrient and the component of the food with diseases and condition. Using it to relate to disease and condition makes you a dietitian. To become a dietitian, one would definitely be a nutritionist. But one can only be a nutritionist without becoming a dietitian. If you are a nutritionist and you are not a dietitian, there's no way you can plan menu or recommend diet for people. You're also only a dietitian that can do that. So, and dietitians must be nutritionists before they can become dietitian. So, we are specialized in the aspect of using food especially locally available food within any community that person belongs to, to plan menu and then uh, uh, according to the recommended intake of that person, according to the nutrient target of that person and uh, uh, regarding the, the concerning the, the disease condition or uh, the, any aspect that person want that nutrient, that target nutrient to work on. So we do, we do that. There are so many stages in life that people need different nutrition, different nutrients according to ages, starting from conception. When a woman gets pregnant, we start nutrition right from there where the fetus needs certain amount of nutrients to boost the weight and the immune system, the brain of that child. And then we move there to when the mother begins to lactate the baby. There are also certain nutrients for babies, infants, neonates that are born. We preach exclusive breastfeeding and we tell people the importance of breastfeeding babies exclusively for six months before introducing complementary diet. We introduce, we plan and prepare complementary diet to supplement breast milk so that the baby or the infant can meet up the recommended nutrient in Texas after six months, breast milk will not be enough. Then from there we also plan many for preschool children to prevent all these childhood diseases from infant to preschool. Diseases like kwashioko, marasmix, uh, 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 severe acute malnutrition, where babies become malnutrition, stunting, and so on. There are certain food we give to those children to meet up the nutrients needed and then preventing the occurrence of such uh, infant or childhood diseases. Then even the adolescents, adolescent boys and girls, there are food that are specially made for them, diet for them, to meet up their recommended intake because there are changes in their physiological aspect of life. There are, there are changes in the physiological aspect of life where they are growing and developing changes in every aspect of their life. So there are nutrients that they need. So for every stage of life, there's increment of certain nutrients and other, and we meet up the target nutrient of that person. Then from adolescent, adulthood. When people grow up, get to adult age, we also have different diets for them according to their recommended daily intake and their eating pattern. We give advice, we consult, we plan menu, we give dietary uh, counseling to people. Then the next stage is the geriatric stage when people are elderly. In fact, I consider this stage and childhood as one of the most vulnerable stages in life where most of the nutrients stored in them have already been lost. The minerals and vitamins stored in these people have been lost. Minerals are demoralized, whereby they begin to develop some elderly uh, diseases, especially elderly women that are in their menopause stage, whereby the, uh, the, this condition such as musculoskeletal disorders and others will occur. So there are food that we give to even the elderly ones to keep them fit and healthy. And also, apart from uh, talking about disease condition, there are also studies nutrition throughout life cycle, right from gestation to geriatrics. But in case if uh, other condition happens to, 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 to happen, maybe affect somebody, one of these non-communicable diseases like diabetes, 
hypertension, and of these cardiovascular diseases. We also plan many for this obesity. We plan many for obesity. Liver diseases start from hepatitis A, B, C, fatty liver, liver cirrhosis, and hepatic encephalopathy. We have many for them that will prevent or will manage such diseases. Disease of the kidney, like kidney stones, urinary tract infection, we have many plan for them to prevent or further inflammation of such organ. Even within the lungs, diseases like cystic fibrosis, we also plan many. Diseases like conditions where babies are born with inborn error of metabolism and they grow up developing lactose in people becoming lactose intolerance, uh, gluten enteropathy or gluten uh, intolerance, uh, jaundice. Uh, there are many of this inborn error of, uh, of metabolism diseases condition that we plan menu to fill that in, in, in men that they eat good food and they stay healthy. Diabetes has nothing to do with telling people to eat fruits and vegetables, avoid fat, avoid this. Every fruits and vegetable, every food in life has a special role to play in human body, but we quantify it according to your needs and we quantify it according to your disease condition. Whatever is not suitable for that disease condition will be reduced or restricted out of it. Like for example, people that have severe cardiovascular disorder like hypertension, we just cut off or reduce restrict sodium and bad fats from their meal and we tell them the type of fish and so on to eat. And apart from um, uh, uh, such diseases like that, we also deal with the physiological aspect of life. Like conditions like women becoming pregnant, we plan many for them or we consult them, do dietary and nutritional counseling to tell them the ideal food, the appropriate eating pattern for them to, for, to, to have a normal and healthy uh, pregnancy period and normal delivery uh, by God's grace. And apart from that, we also first like taking mothers and tell them things like that. We also deal with uh, nervous system diseases like epileptic where we plant ketogenous diet for them, uh, uh, seizures and also uh, uh, disease like multiple sclerosis. These are diseases that affect the nerves and the brain. There are foods that are specialized for this food. There are food that they don't need. There are food that they need but even those food that are needed by every disease condition we have to quantify and plan menu to meet up their are recommended daily intake for them to keep fit. Then, apart from going into diseases and conditions, we have some aspect of life, like people that do sports, people of high physical uh, uh, level of energy expenditure, people that really lost, need a lot of calories to perform uh, their activities uh, very well. We plan many for them. Let's take example like in sports, sport activities, which we refer to somebody who is in active sport activities is people that compete for competition. But there are people that do sport activities, but they don't compete for competition. There are those that go out just to jog, play football, do some minor training to keep fit. There are certain menu plan for them. And those that have active uh, uh, athletes uh, that play competitive games, those ones that are calories needed. And every game has certain type of calories needed or nutrients needed for, 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 for the particular game. Let's say, for example, even football that has 12, uh, uh, 11 people within uh, players within uh, a, 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 a team. The two teams, all in all 22, the, 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 the goalkeeper has certain amount of calories needed. The, the striker needs certain amount of color, the midfielder, because even men looking at how football field is being made and how they run up and down, the striker need higher energy calorie more than any other player within the field. And so they are players, but that's why we don't have problem. People eat anyhow. People consume anyhow without knowing what really is fit for them. So this, this uh, my channel is, is open to carry out all activities that have to do with nutrition as a nutritionist and dietetics as a dietitian and then we plan menu we carry out dietary counseling we check uh, people and uh, nutritional assessment uh, status we can we carry out nutritional status by checking bmi by checking doing clinical uh, uh, future see where somebody belongs to before then uh, uh, we plan menu for that person to prevent or manage certain deficiency uh, diseases. 
so thank you very much please don't forget to subscribe like and then share 